how this campus has changed is it's 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 a beautiful beautiful thing. Uh, originally, we had one main building, and we were not allowed to go um, in parts of it because the nuns utilized it. And uh, we had a little. It looked to be like a, a garage that we went went to to have our gym classes. But other than that, we only had the main building, which was attached to Macaulay Hall, which was the residence, and then we had this building that we went to gym. And being a commuter, it was a different culture. We uh, had our, what we call the day hop lounge, which was where Banks is now. And part of, like, behind where the a la carte area probably was about a quarter of the size, and we always knew that we could go play a game of cards there. Sometimes the games were so important that we kind of <clears throat> forgot to go to class. We had the nuns who put us to bed with good night girls, God bless you, with the holy water every night at 10.15. In the classroom, I enjoyed Sister Eloise. She demanded you to be and do your best. The day I broke her mimeograph machine was a complete disaster, <laughs> but she did forgive me. It was way different when I was here because it was my first semester, there were nine guys. I was one of the first guys accepted and I actually started Jan uh, January 1973. I graduated 14 years ago and I reflected on all of my professors, specifically my occupational therapy professors. And in going through the list, I realized all but one of them are still at Misericordia 14 years later. But in November of, I think it was 1963, uh, a friend and I, Phyllis Biga, were working on a project in the library. And our other dear friend who recently passed away, Pat Bonner, came through and she said to us, the president's been shot in Dallas. We were so upset. And Phyllis looked at me and she said, who would want to shoot Sister Mary Celestine? Well, the food was interesting because it was wartime. And unless you've been in the war during the Depression, and it was also Depression time, um, you don't understand that business of not having enough of everything. And Sister Josephita, who was in charge of the kitchen, did her best. But sometimes there would be everything white on the plate, and there was only one helping. So it would be white fish with cream sauce, cream cauliflower, and mashed potatoes <coughs> on the same plate. There's a lot of more dorms up here. There was no townhouses. We tobogganed down the front hill where the townhouses are. You know, in winter, in, in the local, you know, Scranton area, they got an inch, we got a foot, you know. So we would toboggan on the wooden toboggans that the nuns kept in the basement. My entire experience on campus was interesting. I am from North Carolina. I grew up in North Carolina. I received a scholarship to Misericordia, and my time here was my first time spending any time in Pennsylvania snow, people, and everything about the experience was exciting and awesome. 